Hello and good morning, everyone. On this Tuesday, we're going to talk a little bit about our storm chances as we head into the 4th of July weekend. A couple of days of storms on the way. Details are coming up right now. But first, my friends at Robert Gibbons Sons deserve some congratulations, not only for 110 plus years of service, but they are three time in a row Bryant Circle of Champion recipients. Well, I got to tell you what, they are great to deal with, and I am proud to call them sponsors of Hutch's Weather. Give them a call if you need any mechanical needs whatsoever. They deal with only the best equipment, the best technicians, of course, the best community. All right, let's take a look at your forecast as we go through. Heading into the weekend, we're going to see ramping up temperatures, a little bit more south wind lacing the air with some moisture. Heading into your Thursday, though, a chance for a couple of these showers and thunderstorms to become severe. So Thursday evening, showers and storms forming out to the west. There will be a warm front out here and anywhere along that warm front and anywhere in this area that storms decide to form, there could be a risk of some strong to severe storms. Now, these are expected to make their way eastward and mainly impact our northern counties. And this is the second to third straight model run that are showing that these storms will be mainly north on our Thursday, heading into the morning hours on Friday. Speaking of Friday, low pressure develops out to the far west in the western and central Dakotas, a warm front setting up here and a cold front down to the lower left, meaning that as we go through the afternoon, scattered showers and storms on a sizzling hot day, and again, anywhere they form, there'll be a risk of a couple of them becoming severe. Now, those will work their way through as we go toward the 10 o'clock hour towards places like Duluth, eastern portions of the uh, I-29 corridor, as well as we'll see a chance in Lakes Country on this particular model. Now, not all models are in agreement here as to the track of the storm, so we'll keep you posted there. But just know Thursday and Friday, both bringing a chance of severe, meaning stay informed of the weather no matter where you are, particularly if you're camping. Heading into Saturday, another storm will work its way out of Canada, bringing a chance for scattered showers and storms across the north once again, and likely out to the east in Minnesota. And the temperatures after the passage of our system on the 4th should bring cooler weather. So for today, things will be quiet. I can't rule out a passing sprinkle or shower here or there. Here's a look at your hometown forecast heading out the door this morning. I do expect we'll see most of us hovering around a temperature of the 55 to 60 degree range. Partly cloudy skies can't rule out a sprinkle here or there, but the better chance coming in the heat of the day once again. Uh, diagonaling from north central North Dakota right through most of northern Minnesota. Passing clouds, passing showers. Most of us stay dry, but some won't. 70s east upper 70s in lakes country beautiful lake weather and low 80s here in the valley for a seasonable day 9 25 the time of your sunset and here's a look at the tail of the tape your seven day planner brought to you by my friends at eventide hey you know if you're looking for a wonderful place to live uh, all levels of living care provided from independent living through your basic needs uh, in assisted living or more intense care in the memory care unit check out Call my friends at Eventide. I did. Found a place for mom. And I know you'll be happy to take a look at it as well. Give them a call today. Let them know Hutch sent you. Set up that appointment. Temperatures rising to 90. Thursday storms could be strong to severe in the late day and into the morning hours. Friday, a repeat performance in the afternoon, but shifting to the valley and points off to the east and maybe even central parts of North Dakota as well. Temperatures cooling off just a pinch, late, pinch later in the week. Hutchesweather.com anytime, anywhere. Hey, check it out. And then you'll stay on top of the weather no matter where you are this weekend. Hutchesweather.com, if you let it know your location, well, then it's going to let you know at the top of the page any watches or warnings in your area. All right, Hutchesweather.com. Follow on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, but have an awesome day.